The man accused of attacking Paul Pelosi, the husband of the woman second in line to the presidency, told police he was on a suicide mission and had plans to target other California and federal politicians, according to a court filing. David DePop was arraigned Tuesday in a San Francisco courtroom. A judge ordered him to be held without bail. He pleaded not guilty to a slew of charges stemming from the attack that left Paul Pelosi with a skull fracture and injuries to his arm. He waived his right to a hearing within 10 days. The public defender assigned to DePap talked to reporters Tuesday after his client's arraignment. We're going to be doing a comprehensive uh, investigation of what happened. We're going to be looking into Mr. DePap, his mental state. The San Francisco district attorney who charged DePap says the attack was pre-planned and says he was seen walking up to the home in the dead of night. Unfortunately, uh, as public figures, our addresses are still oftentimes made available. Uh, people can look those things up online. And so unfortunately, he was able to determine what her address was. The speaker, the target in the attack, was in Washington with her security detail at the time. The chief of the U.S. Capitol Police said Tuesday the attack is a wake up call. With just days until a critical midterm election, he said Capitol Police need more resources to adequately protect members of Congress. This attack was very, very unnerving, both to me, I know it's been unnerving to those who have had to investigate it, to this family, and really to the general public, that somebody would target um, a political leader's home, um, target her family, to, to really think through um, and make a conscious decision to enact violence uh, on a political leader's family, it's very scary. Speaker Pelosi, meanwhile, told reporters her husband is steadily on the mend. While doctors expect him to fully recover, the path to that recovery, Pelosi said, will be long.